Hello friends, how are you everyone? Here in this video, I am going to show you my phone setup in Visual Studio Code, which looks this nice. And it also support cursive phone for italic version. And by the way, did I tell you that it's free? So hello friends, uh, welcome again to my channel Code with JV. If you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, Code with JV, then please do subscribe to my channel Code with JV. It gives me more motivation to create videos like this so let's move to the topic of this video so let's see how did I set up my phone in my Visual Studio code so let's first see the uh, color theme so here you can see like I, I have set up a color theme which with the italic one now let's directly go into the settings part and if you move to the JSON part, so here you can see I am using Cascadia code phone, which is from Microsoft and Microsoft is like making quite a for popular phones there. So if you see, if you remove this part and see the console port, which is one of the uh, popular phone uh, from the Microsoft and here if you see in the client service, this is a normal uh, italic font but uh, here i did some magic with the cascadia code font and like it looks like that so first let's see how you can get the cascadia code font so if you search in the google like it will open up this github link so here you can see this is the github link uh, don't worry about the link i'll put that in the description so if you see about the font uh, here they have mentioned that like cascadia is a fun new coding font that comes bundled with windows terminal so if you are on windows 11 then windows ter terminal comes by default and if you are in windows 10 or earlier version then you need to download that from uh, github like this page also comes with the Git, uh, github link and you can install and by default the font will be cascadia code it supports three variants cascadia code cascadia mono pl and cascadia mono and it also supports coding ligatures arrow and stylic sets so let's see uh, what is coding ligature so here you can see like uh, these are the no normal uh, arrows uh, supported by the fonts but if you enable the font ligature in the Visual studio code it will look like this so in the settings if you see let me go to setting.json so here what i have done is normal uh, settings for font ligature is like this editor.font ligatures too but what i did is uh, this one like so if you see the documentation here like it also support this type tally sticks set it may vary from uh, different applications but for ex example here they have mentioned that if you enable the stylistic set and other open feature uh, then you need to do this way and that is what exactly i have done and if i remove this let me comment it out and now let's go to the on i think uh, i need to reload the visual studio code and let me reopen again here you can see uh, it is uh, showing the normal font and if I put enable re-enable this and again load this like it will show you the uh, cursive font uh, which I showed you earlier. So I hope that like this video is useful for you and you don't need to buy any expensive font. You can do italic and cursive font with this free font from Microsoft. Uh, so please do that and I'm sure like you will like these things uh, for sure. And the one another thing is like if you don't like cursive fonts then uh, you can remove the font ligatures and even if uh, that also if you remove those things then also like uh, this font looks awesome here you can see uh, without cursing also it's look great right so that's it for this video so again if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe to my channel code with jv and uh, see you in the next video thank you for watching